Hanging out here with Maris, a fellow directioner oh, we yeah. were just talking about, which makes my heart very happy. Yes. I know those interviews literally by heart. Like, <laughs> insane. She's talking about interviews I did with One Direction years mm -hmm. ago, but I will say, mm -hmm. literally my most embarrassing moment was in the AMA's red carpet with them. And you know what's so funny is I now, Niall is like in a distant friend group. And oh, so I'll see him. Yeah. And I told him one day, I was like, I have a confession. That is like one of my most embarrassing interviews. Do you remember? He was like, you know, I'm gonna go look it up tonight. I'm like, no, don't. <laughs> Wait, like they're not even aware of that stuff, I guess. Wow, I didn't think about that. I mean, that was iconic to me. But think about it. One Direction. Yeah. They're like, they were doing millions of interviews then. So, anyways, yeah. love that Insane. you're a directioner. Uh, through and through. And through you know through. what? This makes me so happy because mm. I love your song, Voicemail. Oh my God. And Thank you. let's talk about a full circle moment here because yeah. the producer, songwriter you worked with on it, yes. Jeremy Hatcher, yes. won Grammys for Harry Styles' album, he Harry's did. House. So, girl, he did. Yeah. I just need to do this. Thank you. Hello. I okay to be for the record. I, I worked with Jeremy before he had a Grammy. Okay, right? Because I love him so much. Mm -hmm. um, he's like one of those producers that understands artists in the in the sense of like there's certain things that like I need to yes. be in control of, and then he takes the things that I am not seeing, or he brings so many ideas to the table that I wouldn't even think of, but like also lets me have my space. Right. Um, he's just amazing. Yeah, and he actually. He showed me the Grammy and I did this whole bit where I was pretending to drop it. I was like filming, I was like, uh, 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 and he was like, uh. but he, he's so nonchalant. He had them in the boxes. Okay, so I was like, oh, you're my like, God. are you gonna you're put them so up? <laughs> I was like, put them in the bathroom. <laughs> Does he know you're a big Harry One Direction yes. fan? Okay, I was gonna say, he do you does. keep I feel cool? like I'm blushing right now because oh. I really am. Yeah. <laughs> but how does that feel for you as an artist? You've been mm. hustling, working hard, and working with someone like that that is sort of, you know, you. When I get starstruck over people that I interview or work Who with, do it's you like get starstruck by? it's weird people. It's like it's like mm. Jennifer Aniston shows I grew up oh, watching, like TV yeah. shows, like that's kind of. Or or like, I bet she just even smells good. Right. I bet like you're just like you're just like you got me through my bad days. Yeah. So it's like that. But so for you being this artist and now working with mm -hmm. Harry's, you know, producer, but you've worked with him before. But still, yes. like, what does that feel like for you as an artist and um, where you're at? It feels, I mean, I, I really just try to focus on like working with people that make me um, feel energized mm -hmm. and I'm very sensitive. So um, it's it's important to me just to, to, when I'm working in a room with somebody to feel like there's nothing else that I'm focused on except for telling the truth. Right. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, it feels really full circle just even being in LA. Like I'm from Montana originally, so um, I had never seen a famous person until um, I saw Jay Leno one time <laughs> in New York. <laughs> walking down the street and I went oh that's Jay Leno that was the first time I ever saw anybody like remotely famous right. um so LA is a whole different experience like you just randomly see people but right. it's, it's nice because you kind of realize like oh the image that somebody has like in the public eye is just that it's right. like just an image like they're just a human being otherwise it kind of takes that like cloudiness away right. and like oh they're just people. They're just people like yeah. us. They have bad days like Stars. us too. Right. <laughs> They're just like us. But I, I do, I do love voicemail. I think it's such a cool, Thank vulnerable you. song. Thank Tell you. me about uh, why that song is so important to you. Oh well, um, when I first moved here, I was like super lonely. Mm -hmm. um, As most, I think that's a very relatable thing. Totally. Well, I mean, LA is crazy because it felt like I, I met a bunch of people at once, and it was like everybody was really friendly. But then after I'd been here for a few months, I kind of like noticed like I was just putting myself on an island more and more and more. Right. And um, I'm really close to my little brother. He's actually like uh, in the song when it's like, hello, that's my little brother. Oh, I love that. Um, Cause I would just sit on like, literally I would sit on the side of the road and just call my family and like just a million times a day, tell them that I wanted to give up and I wanted to go home and I was so lonely and all these things. And um, then the idea came cause I went to Jeremy's place and, and we were just talking about like, you know, being in LA and all these things. I was like, I would love to write something that's like, it sounds like you're leaving an elongated, like too long voicemail for somebody yes. and just pouring your guts out. And then you're like, anyway, I love you. <laughs> like, thanks for calling, I miss you. Like you're like, yeah. I just had my therapy session on exactly. your voicemail. <laughs> I guess I'll see you when I see you. All right, bye. Right. <laughs> so, um, so great. Yeah, I love that song too. It makes me really happy that you love yeah, it. Yeah, I do, you. I love it. Um, what? Tell me what you're working on right now. Are oh you... my gosh. Um, we got three songs on the way at the moment. Um, I'm very excited about all of them. They're very different, um, every single one of them. Um, and speaking of like celebrities that I would be starstruck by, one of them is called Julia Roberts. And um, it's just, it's kind of like about seeking male validation, okay. wanting to be viewed the way that I view her kind of thing. Right. So like, 
Uh, yeah, I'm very excited. It are should you, be good. Are you working with Jeremy on all those? or different? Um, Jeremy, Julia Roberts. Okay. Um, and then the two others working with Sweet Talker, who's like an amazing producer, and then um, Ian Walsh, who's also my friend. Okay, so, cool. Yeah. Are you still a barista? I have to know. Oh, I... Because um, I love that you posted about the barista thing. Yeah. I quit that shit. <laughs> um, good for you. <laughs> but also, I wanted to know, my question, my question more is, because look, yeah. we moved to LA. We all do that. We all do the, the four But jobs. nobody wants to talk about it. Okay, but do you want to, want to know my most random job when yeah. I first moved to LA? Yes, please, please, I was please. A, or, uh, an organizer for someone who moved. So I would I would go in, open their boxes after they moved, and organize their like shoe closet. Oh and, my like, god! Spices, like the most. Are you really jobs. good at organizing? No, I'm oh. not. And <laughs> like, like I'm not. I'm like, to not my place? Ask my boyfriend who I live with. He would be like, no. But <laughs> <laughs> that's but that's a pretty good starter job though. I mean, it did it was, pay well? It paid, it paid the bills. Yeah, paid the bills. But for you, did you ever get inspired by like? things at work because totally. like I feel like there's so many noises and sounds like I was wondering yes. if, like as a barista if you got inspired totally yeah I, I also I think it's really healthy here to have a day job totally. that connects you to people because I found when I was in like when I, li I lived in New York for three years like after I turned 18 um, and what I love about New York is you're never fully in your bubble yeah like you're always constantly reminded of what it's like to be a human being that you see that humanity in everybody regardless of if you're looking for it yeah um, and here I found it a lot harder to connect to people outside of like my little bubble because it'd be like I wake up I'm in when I first got here I lived alone now I live in a girl apartment with a roommate that I love but I lived alone when I first got here and I would be <laughs> Oh, my problems, my problems, right. my problems. And then I would get in the car. My problems, my problems, my problems. And I get to the studio and all I talk about is like my shit. And um, what's nice about having like a day job is you're taken out of the music or the entertainment world a little bit. And you're like, oh yeah. Like, like this is what it's like to be a human. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And um, so I th it's really good for me mentally to yeah. have like another, um, you know, multiple facets of connecting to people. Right. For sure. Yeah. Um, so you're, you're working on new music, new stuff coming out. Um, yes. When can we expect it? Any like dates coming up? We can well, talk about? I am playing Boston Calling in the spring. Okay. So before then, okay, <laughs> that's all I know at the moment. We're just so yeah. excited. Oh my god, I really am. It's been um, 2023 was a big year. I think of like hermit mm -hmm. vibes, like processing and planning and getting ready for the next thing and so it feels like this year's um breaking out of the shell a little bit it's i'm good. excited for you also i'm proud thank of you, you for staying here you're sticking thank it out thank you thank you, you so much this. where are you from originally i'm from detroit oh, okay Michigan. so very different yes very different i'm proud of you for staying here thanks look at us oh, look at this <laughs> i'm so excited for you this next year maris thank you thank My you fellow one chelsea <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna go to some shows together because we <laughs> we should. Yeah. We should see One Direction when they are uh, reunited. Tour. Yeah. <laughs> the One Direction Eras tour. Can we also manifest that? that I, I'm speaking it into existence yes. right now. Yep. On that note, thanks for watching. Thank you. <laughs>